What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to build this cool modern outdoor sectional. It's perfect for our screen porch, it's perfect for summer, lounging with friends. It's a great build that you can do and spruce up your outdoor space today. Let's show you how we did it. Alright, so we built this outdoor couch using cypress boards. We specifically got all three and a half inch wide cypress boards from the Home Improvement Store to make this an approachable project for you. Cypress is a great wood to use for outdoor projects because it is naturally water and rot resistant. Cedar is another good choice, but it literally costs double. Cypress right now is about the size of the cheapest wood you can find at the store. Then we started drilling pocket holes. There were literally hundreds of pocket holes in this project, but we used the 720 Pro to make sure it was easy. This project is sponsored by our friends at Craig Tool. We used so many pocket holes to build this project, as you can see. We used the Craig 720 Pro and the Craig 320 a lot on this project for different parts. It makes it a lot easier to do woodworking when you have an easy to use tool like the Craig Jig. We really appreciate Craig sponsoring this project and making the plans to build this free for you. Like I said, the Craig 720 Pro makes this project so easy. The Automax clamping system on this tool is very simple for clamping boards, easy to flip a board over, clamp it back down, and drill your pocket holes. We love this tool. It's one of our favorites in the shop. We also use the Craig 520 for this project on the longer boards. The 520 pocket hole jig is a squeeze clamp system and you bring it to your board. So if you have a long board like we had for these couches, it was easier to bring the jig to the board instead of trying to stick the board in a jig. Finally, it was time for construction. We started by putting together the legs. We cut all of the angles on these legs at 10 degrees and double thicked them. What is double thicked? Well, we glued some boards together and made four of these sets of legs. Then it was time to build the frames. We added pocket holes and pocket hole screws to the boards that go across the front and attach those to the legs and then added a double thick center support onto the couch as well. As you can see, there's two frames here, a short couch and a long couch. We did the same thing to both couches all the way through this process. This is an L-shaped couch, so those are going to come together and make equal sides. Once the frames were done, it was time to add the slats that you sit on. Again, wood glue and pocket hole screws for the win. We put these in the frame that we had just made and these became very, very secure. The backs for the couches look exactly like the slats on the seats. These are spaced out using a scrap piece of the cypress board in between each of the boards. We use wood glue and pocket hole screws to hold these posts together. Didn't attach them yet because we wanted to make sure we could get that through the screen porch door that we're going to be putting it in. Now, even though Cypress is water resistant, we did add an outdoor sealant. This is just a clear sealant. It brings out the natural color in the Cypress and it looks really, really good, as you can see here across all of our pieces. Time for final assembly. Those back pieces that we just built, we screwed into the couches when they were in place. We made a short couch and a long couch, as you can see, and then we added four connector boards to hold them together in that L point of the couch. We added two tops and it was done. Look at how rich this color is. The cypress looks awesome on our porch. The only thing left was to add cushions. Here is the before of our porch and here's the after. This is now a beautiful place for us to relax and enjoy our lives. And now it's time to kick it back and enjoy our new couch. Make sure you grab the plans at charlestoncrafted.com.